Hi everyone, it's Dora here. Welcome to my seventh update to my rolling project plan. I've been focusing on 10 different items. Five of them I have selected myself and the goal is to finish them. And then the other five are randomly selected with a usage goal on them. So let's start with my hand selected items first because there is a little bit less exciting progress to share. So starting with foundation, I've got this stick foundation here by Revolution in the shade F1. Um, I had this in this project previously. I did a lot better then than I did in this past month. Um, I've only used it nine times. And the previous time I had used it 32 times within one month. Wow, that was like before the summer. So yeah, this is quite a fair shade. I'm just waiting for my tan to go down a bit. And I'm also waiting for the temperatures to drop a little bit more so that I can go back to my two makeup looks a day. I did make some small progress and there is now two millimeters less of this product. Okay, I shall keep you posted on that one. I don't foresee this rolling out anytime soon, but hopefully by the end of the year. Staying with face products, I've got this Revolution, uh, a matte base powder in the shade P3. I had already hit pan on it in another project and now my goal is to empty it, finish it, or at least work on this until it's just crumbled. This product I have used 28 times in the past month and I think you should be able to see a slight difference with the before picture. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working away on this. Um, again, not sure if I'll make it before the end of the year, but I can try. Dropped it a couple of times and it hasn't broken on me so far, so hey. The next item is this Elf No But Shadow Stick in the shade Rose Gold. Um, when I brought this in, seven, six, five, four, three, in update three, I believe, this was 2.7 centimeters. We are now at 0.5 centimeters or five millimeters. Um, I have used this 20 times since the last update and wow, I've made a whopping six millimeters worth of progress. I think I'm doing all right. It's about the same amount of progress I've been making each month. So I reckon next month, this is gonna be an empty. The next item is this Bare Minerals Mini Lipstick in the shade Rebound. Um, this has been in here for one, two, three, four, five months. When I brought it in, there was already quite a lot of usage on there. I had 11 millimeters left and I've now only got two millimeters left of this product. Um, I used this only 13 times since the last update making about the same amount of progress that I did in the previous update when I used it 25 times. Maybe because it's warmer, I've used more of it. I'm not sure. Either way, I think either in the next update or before it even, you know, once I hit this black thing here, the actual bullet, I think I'm gonna take it out, decant it into one of these little jars. I had the idea initially to mix it in and cocktail it with a lip balm. I can't be bothered anymore. So I'm just gonna decant it and use it up completely and just call it an empty. My final chosen item is another lipstick and this is the L'Oreal Colorish Blakes Pure Red. There's a ton of lipstick left on here and I've only really been using it as a lip stain. I'm not really into a bold lip, at least not these days. I used it 11 times since the last update, uh, actually when I rolled it in. And I've also used two millimeters worth of product. Now my goal is only to um, hit the halfway point here. There are some actual lines, at least visible to me, within the lipstick. So that's my goal. I've marked it on my little note pad thingy, so you'll be able to see. But yeah, very, very slow progress, but we're getting there. And then hopefully once this is out of the way, I can focus on this one more. Um, I'd rather be like emptying lipsticks completely, but I did feel that since this has been in my collection for six years, it's time, you know, to at least get started. Even if it has sentimental value attached to it, it doesn't matter.
And that now brings me to my five randomly selected items. So let's get the nail polish out of the way first. I've got three nail polishes in here. Let's start with the one that has been in here for the longest. And this is the Sol, no, My Mood Nail Polish Vegan Longwear in the shade Sol Cosmic. It's basically clear with a gold sort of sequin star type thing. Love it. You should think that I've used it, but I still haven't. Um, staying here for another five uses. It's obviously quite Christmassy, but yeah, I've just not been feeling it. I think the, yeah, yeah, anyway, we'll see, we'll see. I still have to try it. I haven't even tried it yet. The next one is this model's own light purple uh, nail polish with a, very fine silver shimmer in the shade Fly Lac. Cute packaging. Um, five uses as well. I have used this three times in the past four weeks. Staying in for another two uses. Um, yeah, happy to use it. I really enjoy using this. And then the third nail polish is this Essence Nail Topper in the shade Bang Boom Bling. I'm wearing it today on top of a different lilac nail polish that's more matte doesn't have a shimmer in there it's slightly matte slightly shiny um very similar color to this one i'll show you i put it on top of this one which is in my project 10 swipes where i pan or have usage goals on nail polish um put it over slightly chipped nail polish and i think you know it's not too bad i've got it on my toes as well so i've now got four uses on this so just one more use left before I can roll it out next month. Leaving the best till last. The next two items I have hit my roll on. So first up is this Sizzly Duo Bronzer Fito Touche. The top one is still the original one from many, many, many moons ago. And this one is a repress. Across these two pans, I had the usage goal of 15 users and I have hit that. Do you wanna know how many times I've used which one? Yeah. This one I used once, so I used the bottom one 14 times. Really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, happy to move it out to make space for some other blushes. I bought two new blushes this year, so I've been playing with those. And the final item, which is also a rollout, is the Urban Decay Prince Palette. I did this in a knob hand left behind style. Last time I was at five pans out of 10, and now, I've hit them all, so yeah, I have used all of them, especially I've been focusing in on Chocodelica. I am wearing Bold Generation in my lower lash line today as part of my Pandas Eyeshadow series. And this one is in my Duty Pan, my Battleship, so I'm trying to pan this one as well, actually, and this one, these two. <laughs> Wish me luck. But anyway, this is a rollout. This loves to appear here in my series, and I am, this close to learning how to properly depot palettes by myself like a single eyeshadow palette the joy and retire this chap <laughs> okay but funnest part ever we're gonna randomize two new items i have taken so much out and then the list was like so small that i added more things in so i've added non-makeup items beauty and candles. Let's see what happens if I get two products of the same category. I'm gonna re-roll. Number 31. Ooh, it's a candle. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that would happen. I have been doing a massive declutter and I've been collecting and hoarding so many candles and this is the thing that I cannot declutter. Like I can't just pass them on or throw them out. And so I have decided that I'm gonna work through them. Um, I use them for so many different things. Um, daily tarot, pour, meditation, just overall oh, nice atmosphere, any kind of magic. Anyway, who gives a shit? So the candle that I have randomly been given to pan completely is this 
lovely scented candle by North Muse. They're discontinued and they're a friend of a friend and I was given this for my previous birthday or maybe the last year. Anyway, this is Boho Amber and Myrrh, a scented soy candle. 230 grams. For rebirth, transformation, healing powers and rejuvenation. Well, who doesn't need that? I, I'm in need of that. Um, it smells obviously of amber and I find it a bit vanilla-y. I just add an R to vanilla. vanilla -y. I think that makes more sense. Right, let's select the next product. Number 13. And that is my Dr. Paw Paw Tinted Peach Pink did it peach pink balm? Okay. Multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pore pore for lips, cheeks, and skin with a hint of tint. Uh, fragrance free and vegan friendly. Okay. I really like this one. I count this as lip balm, but I wear it as lipstick. It's tinted, you know. I don't like, like I said, I don't like too much on my lips. I also like the idea of putting on my lips and cheeks. I've been doing that today with a cream blush for lips and cheeks from H&M. Um, yeah, this would be fun. Face items, I've put at, I've put both face and lip items at 15 uses. So I'm gonna stick with that, 15 uses in order to roll this out. Right, let's do a quick recap of what's staying in and where I'm hoping to be able to hit my goal in the next update. If I really, really work hard, I think I can roll five things out in the next update. This one has got two left. This has got one usage left. 15, obviously. I can't finish that, but I can decant it. Maybe finish it, we'll see. And I'm pretty sure I can finish this one. So also still in the game is the North Muse candle, the Revolution powder, the Revolution foundation stick, my glittery starry nail topper, and this red lipstick. All right then, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. I can't believe it's still this hot in September. We've had lots of rain, like hardcore sudden bursts of sheets of rain coming down and then bam it sort of stops and suns back out um it's still nicely warm but indoors with the light on and the makeup on it's too hot i need a little break and i think then i'm gonna film another video probably at the makeup declutter tag um and i've already selected some items to declutter and it's good this is going to be very positive also for my makeup rehab series. Anyway, enough about me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wicked day, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And sending you so much love. Bye.